Then, have I got something to show you? Hence, this. Okay. Oh, you actually received this. Okay, so this is, this is new. But that certainly isn't. Okay. Japanese Temple Bell Bronze Buddhist. What a beauty. Now, the estimations, we have to have an estimation of this one, because um, the actual script, you can see that it's all been filed off. That's not ground, that's filed off. And that, you see that um, not so irregularly. Um, it happens fairly often, because people kind of like... See, this would have, at one stage, had a lot of script in it. And... All, all around it actually, it's, and they've uh, they put some file marks and cleaned it up here. This is really old and would have had script all along in these sections here. And uh, this is all aging in here. You can see the the bronzes are all this, all here, all here, all these splotches. This is all just aging. Now we do estimate that this is roughly around 1850s, something like that. And we can tell from here, we can tell that uh, this striking point here would have been closest to the sliding door as they had it set up on a frame for over a century sort of thing. And that, that would have been closer and they would have struck that, that point more than they would have on this side. And as you can see, oh, there's no cracks, no internal flaws, sounds beautiful, I'll get to that. And it's actually uh, just simply a fantastic piece. What I'll do, it really should get like 1500 bucks, something like that, it really should go for that. But I'll start it off uh, cheap and you know give people an opportunity to to bid on it and, and have and own this glorious piece. I'll get to this one, this uh, personal bell right here in a, in a momentarily. But first, let us see. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's just got aging on it and just all aging marks. And this up here, you can see that's where in the casting, that, that's where they attach it and then they break it off and, and and there you have it and there they have that bell and all right let's uh let's strike it on as per usual I'll use the um the chamfer portion of this particular striker and Seven eleven. Um 
seven, eleven, ikibu. Trust me, I threw my television away. Japanese television. I still remember some of those advertisements. They just keep banging them into you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I open the door and threw that television out. The NHK people come around every now and again, every year, you know, and they say, oh, you know, you need to give a sen yen, a thousand yen. It's like ten bucks. So your television, I just say, Japanese television is... What do you call it? Expletive? Um, I don't have a television. <laughs> anyway, let's get back on this. Strike it will be you. File that over there because what I'm going to do instead of making up a whole new video, what I'll do is I'll I'll place this particular piece of beauty. This is um, a personal Buddhist bell, um, and what I have here, you can have this. This is new actually, and here we are. Beautiful bronze bell. Now that's a really nice piece. I'll put that up for a, just a small amount for its size and and just for what it is. It's just simply gorgeous. And that I'll let people fight for this one. Buddhism is supposed to be about peace self-development, self-improvement, so but fight for it anyway. Awesome. It's, I don't even, don't even have to talk about it. It's just awesome. That's, <laughs> there's the parlance right there. Okay, I'm off to Sukiya, the uh, cheap restaurant, to have a bowl of rice and meat and onions, and I asked them to sudaku kudasai, and, uh, and sudaku is like, they make it all sort of soupy, and oh, it's too, I'm just thinking about it right now. I should just shut up and just go and do that. This is brilliant, and you know it. And there you are, so I'll put it up at a low starting price, and this will be on its way to you. I will send it via Cell Economy Air. Um, this will go via EMS last year. Uh, Cell Economy Air. Oh, um, uh, which reminds me, uh, there's a, um, a, a pilgrim staff, a Buddhist pilgrimage staff right here. There's a journey staff. And it's a high level piece because it's six rings. That means a very high level monk. And right there. I'm thinking of taking this to the uh, the Mongol invasion wall. I'm going to walk there with this. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do before I before I list it and and someone else can actually own this. I'm going to I'm going to go on my own little pilgrimage right there with that, and I will list that very soon. Um, something very surprising. Hold on a second here. Oh. Uh, right, I have this Jizo right here that I... This Jizo is actually listed. And I also have another one. I sent one to a fellow in, uh, in Belgium. And here's another one right here, slightly lighter. And a beautiful granite stone piece right there. So, and that's... That's that. I had three of them. No, I eventually found three of them. Fantastic piece right there. Very heavy, but uh, that's, that's the way it is. Um, yeah, as I was saying, over here, uh, this particular bell I've had listed for quite a while. Uh, I don't know if you can see what's going on here. Hang on, there's a... There's, oh, 
few bells in here, actually. Where'd that come from? Now, this particular bell right here, I've had this listed for quite some time. It's just, it's shocked me. It's, uh, oh, there's a little groovy Shinto shrine down there. It shocked me that no one has actually bought it, and it's, it's really just awesome. <laughs> I mean, wow. And it's of comparative size. So if you miss out on this one, you know, you can go for this one. And it also has this uh, striker here. And that's a, a comparative size. And therefore, you know, you can do yourself well by, um, by actually grabbing that one. Cause it's awesome. You, there's a video of that too. There's probably a video of that up there. Um, now, let me have a look over here. It has some really cool awesomeness over here. Oh, this is a lacquered box. Um, old school. Can it go together with one hand? No. I'll leave that. These. Now, these are Buddhist. These are used to uh, utilize with the uh, the uh, butsudans over there, and they have these are uh, candle holders. And they're just awesome. So I think it, these deserve some real decent money. So let me know if you're interested in that sort of thing. Um, but they deserve decent money. Got some great pieces here. Got some globes and things sorted out. Oh, let me just show you. That's a good idea. Hold on a second. You're going to like this. Right, uh, I'm going to go like this. Come on, so not right. Uh, take this thing and put it over here. Uh, use that. Place that in there. This is, these are old school. These are these. These are old school Japanese records. I've got this 78 that does 78s. Fantastic. Now, what we're going to do is... This is all thoroughly impromptu, by the way, because I, I wasn't expecting to do this, but I'm sure you're going to like it. Now, what we need is the old torch. Ooh. Now, put this torch on like so. Kill this light like so. Now, the reason why I mentioned those Buddhisty things, these things, with the globes and stuff like that, if you were... I'm going to have to list those at some stage because if you do purchase them, you might end up having something like this. Now, let us just have a look here. getting there. Bear with me. Uh, go like this. Go like this. And here we are. Cooly. Now this here. This here. I should have I should actually have this one connected also. Silly eye. That's because I'm a moron. That's what it is. Gotta be, gotta be some reason for it. Right now, bear with me a little bit longer. Just hang on. You just hang on right there, and I'll plug this thing in. Right, say there. Right now, we are back. Back in business. Check this out. So those sort of lights will perform this kind of function. How's that? Now that's a butsudan. You see? All beautifully carved and lacquered and it's just fantastic. As you can see. And these things here, um, I've got some globes for those ones over there. And you could like fiddle with the wiring, um, you know, just 
wire it all up. I've got some connections and stuff like that. If you if you know the slightest thing of basic electronics, you um, you could have something set up like that. Right then, on which uh, let's see. Yeah, I've got some. I've got some connectors and wiring and things like that, so you can adjust uh, the lengths of the um, the wires in order to suit where you need them to be. And the reason why I'm saying this is because uh, Butsudan all come in different shapes and sizes, and the hooks themselves up there are often are always at different distances, and so you can adjust the wiring lengths to suit what you desire, what you need, what you, uh, what will be good for your boots down. That's that. I'm tired. And that will be the, that will be, let there be light, he cried. Okay. And that's that. So, um, let me know if you're interested. Um, yeah, just some basic wiring kind of things, that, that's all that's necessary for that. I purchased some, some globes and wiring connectors and things. So you just have to fiddle with the wiring a bit. Um, as you can see, safety first. Um, what I'm going to have to do is um, put some proper connectors sort some proper connectors out for those. Uh, and I do plan to use uh, something like that, which is a converter. I'm going to send this to Australia. So this converts, and what's it say here? Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, Philippines, and China can be used for that particular converter. So, that's that. Um, and I'm off to Sukiya. Very good girl.